when you live full-time RV, unexpected things happen. And this was one of them. This was one of them. Now, it all started in the morning when I woke up and it was pretty cold inside and I knew we had propane, so that was pretty weird in the first place. I went and checked the monitor and tried to turn it on and off. It would just make a clicking noise, but it wouldn't actually fire up or start anything. I just resorted to our electric fireplace and our space heaters to keep us warm until we could figure out why on earth the heat stopped working. Well, please join us on this adventure of random and unexpected things that happen while full-time RVing. All right, guys, here we go. Finally, the moment of truth. We should be able to slide her out. Wicked metal sliver somewhere. So I think the quick connect's actually inside for that. And it actually is. Bigger in person. And there we have it. A weird hole where our furnace used to be. And what that is. I'm gonna clean all this up. Though. Whoa, whoa, he says. So, I wanted to add a valve for the furnace so we can shut that off. Still have the rest of the gas line function. I think I'm gonna add it right here. All right, looks like we're going after this guy. Necessarily tight. <laughs> not sure why this is so intense, guys. It's not good. So thin. How did they put that on there? They put that on there very aggressively. I can't believe it doesn't leak. That's, oh man, that's so dumb.
All right, guys. So, Camping World was absolutely no help. <laughs> they recommended that I call Suburban, or else I'm gonna probably have to bring my unit here. It'll probably have to sit here for a while while they do warranty checks on it. And they just straight up told me that the warranty process is gonna be hard and stupid. Uh, they did help me find the part. It's $140. I'm gonna try to call Suburban now. I'm gonna see what they're willing to do with this. Otherwise. Worst case scenario, I might just buy it on Amazon and deal with it myself. Because warranty in campers is proving to be just as bad as everyone says. Just wasted like an hour driving here for nothing. To be told. Ah, uh, yeah. There's not much we'll be able to do, probably. The furnace has a two-year warranty. The camper has a one-year warranty. But since the one-year warranty is not up, it's supposed to be covered under that and not the four furnace warranty. So since it's supposed to be covered under the one-year camper warranty, they need the whole camper, actually. Yeah, which makes it just a headache. Uh, it was weird, it was stupid. But, like, they did kind of explain it in a way that somewhat made sense. But it's it's set up just that way for them to make warranty work really difficult and for them to take a camper for a while so that way they can expire any of the rest of the remaining warranty time. But, uh, I'm gonna give Suburban a call now and we'll see how that goes. on some adventures in these carts. Let's review what we learned today. Yes, we didn't really learn a whole lot today. We do know that this is broken. And as you can see, Mike's been working on tearing it apart and that will be a separate video. We go in depth on what could possibly be wrong. The past few nights, we didn't even need the electric heat at all, but I'm not gonna complain because it could have broken in the middle of winter and that would have been just absolutely terrible we probably would have had to get a hotel at that point so uh, thanks for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to catch our next video going into detail on this fabulous thing